Hi, my name is Atif Shamim and I'm a professor of electrical engineering at uh, King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, KAUST. Uh, I'm also the PI of IMPACT Lab. IMPACT stands for Integrated Microwave Packaging Antenna Circuits Technology Lab. We do advanced wireless communication and wireless sensing modules for applications such as 5G uh, and beyond, IoT applications, variable sensors, etc. Our lab is uh, uh, like any other typical uh, radio frequency microwave or antennas lab, uh, but there's also a unique feature in our lab uh, that we like to realize these uh, designs through uh, printing. So there are two kind of distinct parts in the lab. One relates to RF microwave or antennas design or sensors design. And the other part is about uh, making inks and printing processes and then realizing the electronics through printing. This is important because we like to do a lot of flexible, uh, stretchable uh, kind of electronics, uh, which is very important for futuristic uh, variable uh, devices, uh, variable sensors or IoT applications. Now, the way it uh, works in the lab is, as I said, there are two distinct uh, areas which eventually combine. So the RF microwave part starts uh, with a particular problem which we want to solve. Uh, and we start this by, by analyzing uh, the, the problem and possible solutions and uh, discussions, and then we go into a simulation mode. Uh, there are a number of uh, different uh, simulations uh, which we carry out uh, with industry standard simulators like uh, uh, electromagnetic simulations from NSYS HFSS, CST microwave, sometimes even multi-physics uh, kind of sim simulations like from COMSOL. We also do some circuit simulations like uh, when we go for chip design, especially for uh, IC design, we like to use cadence or we use advanced design systems uh, from key sites. Uh, and then uh, we try to realize whether it's an antenna design, whether it's a circuit design, whether it's a sensor or, or a packaging problem, uh, we optimize the design in those simulators. Once the design is ready, uh, after many optimization and simulation cycles, uh, then we go for realization. The first stage when we come up with an idea of something that is needed is to do the design and simulate it in our electromagnetic simulator that is HFSS or CST. You build the structure and you start exciting the port so you can see uh, the 3D radiation pattern that later you can measure in the chambers. You can also measure the frequency at which it's gonna work and you can also simulate how the currents will actually flow on time on the uh, structure. With this, you can actually identify the points in the antenna where you're gonna have most current, so you can start playing with that. Very important part of uh, RF systems is the active circuitry. And here in our lab, we build and simulate circuit designs with the help of Cadence Electronic Design Automation Software. Uh, in my case, uh, here I have designed a 77 gigahertz voltage controlled oscillator. Conventionally, antenna engineers and circuit designers, they work independently, but our lab has both expertise, which will allow us better performance and better solutions. Now, the realization can be a few different ways. As I said before, the prime way for us is uh, printing. We have a number of printers in our lab, uh, going from inkjet printers to screen printers. As I said, we make our own custom inks, we develop printing processes. So that's our main uh, area. But sometimes we also go, for, especially for IC design, we go to advanced foundries outside Kaust. Uh, and also Kaust has a great nanofabrication facility. So some of the very high frequency designs, for example, terahertz, we actually go uh, to uh, the clean rooms for nanofabrication as well. In the printing process, it is very important to make the right inks. We have made inks such as uh, conductive inks, uh, conductive inks of different uh, different kinds, uh, some which are nanoparticle based. So we start right from the, making our own nanoparticles to uh, creating the solvents and and uh, creating the inks according to our printers. Uh, sometimes we also uh, made particle free inks. We have recently made a transparent uh, ink, a conductive ink. We also make magnetic inks. So there's a number of inks which we make. After creating the inks and completely characterizing them, then we print our designs, for example, in a screen printer or an inkjet printer, and we realize them. Uh, sometimes the passive components like antennas or, or sensors, others are printed, and the IC 
is fabricated in a foundry and then they are integrated right in our in our own lab uh, and uh, after all these processes then is the characterization steps now we have a number of characterization modules uh, or characterization tools in our lab uh, they right now the laboratory goes up to 110 gigahertz like vector network analyzers uh, spectrum analyzer and and the any kick chambers uh, but uh, the lab is now being upgraded to 500 gigahertz which will happen very soon we have uh, two any kick chambers one goes from 800 megahertz to 18 18 gigahertz this is a near field uh, satmo chamber very fast uh, uh, characterization of entrance and all kind of radiation uh, radiating structures and then we have another advanced any kick chamber which is basically designed for very small probe fed antennas such as the antennas which are on the chip or on the IC or on the package very small antennas so this has a chamber is specially designed goes from 18 gigahertz to 110 gigahertz and it has a microscope so we can do all kind of uh, characterization in in those chamber this is a high frequency chamber and in this chamber we can measure antennas and RF devices for frequencies up to 110 gigahertz for this pupils we can use uh, probe station measurements which doesn't need any cables to connect with antenna or RF device. The purpose of this machine is to give us a radiation pattern of our antenna. I'm working on designing a wearable device that can measure human skin temperature, UV light exposure from the sun, and lactate concentration from the sweat from the skin. In order to do that, we start designing our sensors and circuitry on a CAD tool. And then moving on to the fabrication stage, we use low-cost fabrication methods such as inkjet printing or screen printing, which allow us to print our circuitry on a flexible material such as plastic which also give us the advantage when printing temperature sensors to be mounted directly on the skin without any discomfort to the user. Keep